so it was like seven minutes bus ride I didn't get the front seat otherwise I would record the bus ride but about seven minutes and this is when it's holidays time when it's normal time it's twice that long but that's what I was doing every day taking the bus and we're going to Tsetka the place where it all started with her and him and uh, I'm gonna try to record the inside. You shouldn't smoke really. It's really bad for your health. A good person doesn't smoke. By the way, these are the cheapest smokes and they're really good. They stink much less than the usual ones. They're called like something like cigarillos. They're called break. And I take mentals. I really got attached to them. It's cheap, it's two euros seventy. You know. It's a good advice for people to uh, not smoke. Expensive at least. So I'll have to conceal the fact that I'm recording this when we get into the library this is what I don't know how it will work now you'll see how we didn't look into each other's eyes again one day when it was all effed up I came here and she was at the entrance Again wearing, of course, black sunglasses and I was wearing black sunglasses and she did, she did look into me and I did kind of look into her and we just, I just passed by because I was upset because she was giving the wrong signals the day before and two days before everything was left up. There she was, just below that set like a plate behind the trash bin as she was standing and I just went past like this and you know we saw each other's bodies but not each other's eyes ever and this is a photograph that I have in my room with that bench I was sitting here one day and she was sitting there one day and she was rolling up a cigarette which she shouldn't because she shouldn't smoke and I shouldn't smoke and she was kind of struggling inside I, I felt it at the corner of my eye I was playing with my phone and in the corner of my eye of course I was intently watching her she was like in a lot of pain struggling to make this thing work but it didn't and I thought for eight years and a half I thought it didn't because she was a psycho now, I'm getting to suspect that Jesus Christ himself, who put us together, make us live in each other's hearts, also made sure that we don't come together as yet. But we're going to have a coffee, me and her, one day, right here. I'm going to sit here, and she's going to sit here, and I'm going to record it, and you're going to see it. I'm telling you, I know it. No, I have to conceal the camera. All right.
one day I heard, overheard her talking. She was right here. She was like here, that's the first time I heard her voice. It was a beautiful voice, soft, full of love. I'm gonna have a coffee now. She was sitting here. And I was sitting here and that's why I have this photograph in my room because we were so close see how close we were but that was eight and a half years ago and nothing everything was happening but nothing was happening we just couldn't do it see there she was and another time she was here with her boyfriend she was like here boyfriend was here and she was here and I was let me show you I was sitting something like here and they were sitting over there and I didn't know it was her boyfriend so I watched with enormous in you know uh, whatever the word is to see if anything intimate was going on and nothing intimate was going on. In fact, they looked like, you know, two guys who know each other from, from, from the school. She was telling him to buy something or whatever and he was like looking at her with a kind of a smirk on his face. And I said to myself, no, this is not a boyfriend. I'm safe with this one. I was actually much more sus suspicious of a guy with a beard who was then a witness at her of their wedding three years ago. I was more suspicious of him because he was more friendly with her. But now I know it wasn't, it, it was actually this guy. I can't believe it, Yuri, Yuri Gustisha. And another time, the same Yuri Gustisha and her, they are married as we speak, I think so, still. And uh, they were like, I was watching them from, I don't know where I was, maybe I was just passing down the stairs and I saw them through those glass doors and he like, they were like a meter and a half 
apart and he like stretched his arm toward he touched her with one finger somewhere at the belt and it was like and she didn't make any move it was like uh, uh, unwanted touch and not allowed you know you know girls can t can make you know if you are allowed to touch them or not so this was another time that I, I was sure that this is not a boyfriend I'm safe with this guy but you know <laughs> He married the love of my life, yeah. So I'm really pleased about that. I actually am. Because all of this had to happen. So that you will know that he is it's for the world. He wrote his name into my life and into her life, into our life, and he added his name with all of those churches and crosses and stuff into that Google Maps thing. It's not really for us, it's for for entire mankind so that you would know where he lives. He lives in the subterranean river of God inside of each and every one of you. It's just that he wrote his name into my river of God and now I'm having a coffee and then we go on.